today I'm going to be reviewing the game Knockout. This game came out in 1978 for Milton Bradley and it is for two players. Now the object of Knockout is you are going to be trying to get as many stoppers of your color onto the board as you can and you're hoping that you're going to have uh, the greatest amount by the time the game ends. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be placing these stoppers into the board and you're going to be trying to trap your opponent's pieces. And if you can do that, you're going to pop out their pieces and replace it with your own. So, let's show you how to play Knockout. Okay folks, here is the knockout game. This is going to be done in a slightly different format because I do not have a tripod, so it's going to be a free-flowing camera. But anyway, let's go ahead and just show you the components really quick. Uh, right here you have your little game board, and there's a whole bunch of holes in here. And uh, right here you have what are called your stoppers. Um, now what you're going to be trying to do is you're going to be trying to uh, get as many of your side of the stoppers on the board by the end of the game. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert the stoppers uh, on the yellow side, like so, and your opponent is going to do the same thing. Uh, now, basically what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to place a stopper next to an existing stopper here on the board. So let's just say I went ahead and I decided to place a stopper over here, like so. So I'll just go ahead and flip the board over, and now it's going to be my opponent's turn. Now, the main thing with this game is trapping your opponent's stoppers, and the way you can do that is by having two of your pieces on either end of your opponent's stopper. So let's say my opponent decides to go ahead and place a stopper over here, like so. This piece is now trapped between these two, so what she will be able to do, or he, will be able to pop out the stopper and then replace it with one of her own, like so. And then it goes back to me. So I'll go ahead and I'll turn around here, and I'm looking to see what I can do. And uh, here's a move I can do. I can go ahead and do this. I'll go ahead and do that, pop out the stopper here, and then I will go ahead and replace it with mine, like so. And now you can kind of see where this game is going. So let's say we had uh, something like this, and it was my turn, and I went ahead and I played this. Now I've got uh, two pieces of my opponent's trap, so I can go ahead and pop both of those pieces out. And then replace it uh, with uh, two more of my own, like so. Now let's just say there was something on the board here like this, and it was my uh, opponent's turn. And they went ahead and they played a stopper right here, like so. So all these pop stoppers will get popped out like this and then replaced. And I'll go ahead and replace them and just show you something really quick. Now you'll see right here that this is now trapped. However, uh, in this case, this piece is not going to get popped out. Um, the only pieces that are going to get trapped and pop out are the ones that are played originally. So anyway, uh, that's basically how the game goes. So the game's going to end once all these... Uh, spaces are filled up and then you will count your pieces uh, and whoever has the most amount of pieces is going to win and that's how you play knockout so my final reviews of the game knockout okay well first of all this is a game that is based off of Othello uh, that game has been around for a long time as many of you know um, and so if you are an Othello fan you may like this game or you may not like this game it just really depends on if you're a hardcore Othello person um, the game itself is smaller than the Othello board, um, so this I would actually call Othello light just because it's a smaller board, plus it's shaped differently. Um, so that is going to make it different. Um, however, the gameplay is pretty much the same as Othello, with the difference being that you're going to be physically pushing stoppers out of the board and then replacing it with your own, which for me, I really enjoyed that a lot. Um, I've always enjoyed kind of doing things in games that will like knock your opponent over or do something to where you're physically doing something to them. And this game definitely has that aspect to it. Uh, if you're popping out three of your opponent's uh, stoppers at one time, their faces go, oh, and then you get to uh, put your three in, but then they can come right back and do the same thing to you. So there's a lot of fun in this part of the game. But this is a game that is also very easy to learn. If you want to teach somebody who may be a kid uh, something that is similar to Othello, um, and more geared towards them and more, you know, has more of a gimmick to it, I would definitely recommend trying to check this game out. I enjoyed it when I played it with my wife, and she enjoyed it as well. Would I pick up this game? I would if I could find it for a really good price. Typically, it goes for about $15 or so on eBay plus shipping, and I don't really see myself paying that much for it. But if I were to find it, say, at a thrift store for pretty cheap, I would definitely pick it up. I reviewed this game at a coffee shop when I was visiting my family in Franklin, North Carolina, which is where I'm currently at. Uh, so please forgive me for the quality of the video because I did not have a tripod. I like the game. I could see me pulling this game out every so often, a, a game that takes up a little bit of time but not too much time. Again, it's really, really easy to learn. You can pick it right up and just start playing it off the off the gate. And I do like the components, too. I like the little vertical board, and I like the stoppers. And again, I really love being able to pop those things out and just kind of stick it to my opponent. Anyway, guys, that is my review of Knockout. I hope you all have a great day, and happy gaming.